is I key with the key. And guess what? I got the word. So before I even get started, I want to go ahead and let you know, please follow my co prescription contact and cosmetic page on Instagram, which is I key underscore LLC. And then on Facebook, I key LLC. That's I K E Y. Then also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise that I will give you the keys that you need to life, to the city, and also to the streets. <laughs> and also, please like my My Pussy Podcast page on currently on Facebook right now. I am opening up additional sites, but just be patient with me. I will have more things to come, more things to come. So, my higher power has placed on my heart to speak about spiritual solitude and being alone and understanding yourself before you can understand other people and things. And places you have to really understand yourself I remember the day I went into actual spiritual solitude was when I spoke on sexual abuse that happened to me and pretty much I was thrown back into uh, reality of you're lying. No one believes you. This person said they don't remember that. So how can this happen to you? And they older than you. And this, that, and the third. I was thrown back into being by myself. And in that time of being by myself, it was a struggle. Because I had to deal with what made me the problem. I had to deal with me not having an entourage and a time of dealing with something that I knew that was going to be uncomfortable for me versus being uncomfortable for them. And also being able to have to be a mother, work, pay bills again, while doing all this and staying clean. Many days, trust me. I wanted to to pick up and get high and be like, fuck it. Because I went through all that to still not have anyone in my corner. And why? Because God always tries to show you that you don't need no one but him. Because he is going to make a way no out of no way, no matter what. As long as you do what you're supposed to do so you can get to the next level of living, he has your back. And with me going into that spiritual solitude and really understanding like who I am or who, uh, who I was as an individual, I have countless, I mean countless events, even in my addiction, of God was right there with me through everything, through it all. No one made sure that my kids had food or a place to stay, but God did. And that was through the grace of him. Because you can look at the statistics of a single mother who is on drugs, who is, who's able to provide, put food on the table, and still maintain to have her kids going to school. Who is able to do that without having the people in your business? That was nothing but God. Especially living in this biased state at this time. That feel like they know how to raise your kids better than you. That was nothing but God for me in that situation. So spiritual solitude, which I still go through on a daily basis, I, I still take, I, I don't take 15 minutes, I take hours, maybe two hours I spend by myself daily. 
and I reflect back. Not on the past. Not too much on the struggle. Because, see, I had no control over that. That's what I needed to go through to get to here to be able to spread this message to people who are still struggling. I reflect back now on who I am trying to be. If my interaction with people, was it positive? Was it negative? What Did I do something wrong? Did I embarrass myself? Did I, I show the utmost maturity and how I handle situations? Instead of overreacting, did I think first? And sometimes we have to retrain our mind to, to get out of that. How can I put it? Retrain our mind to get out of that survival mode. Because survival mode, it automatically requires you to go in defense mode. Because you got to defend yourself. You got to survive. You got to be able to make it. So sometimes you have to get back simple. You have to get like a childlike mind to handle certain situations. Because a smile always confuses the enemy, baby. Never let them know what you're thinking or how you're processing things. So even with being overreacting and assuming, sometimes we might want to say this or sometimes we might want to do this, but it is so better if we just patiently think things out and not automatically assume because we feel like we know and allow time, allow time to, to play its game. Roll the course. Go through the cycle. Because in time, all things will be revealed. And that's something that I'm learning. In time, all things will be revealed. I know what happened to me. It happened to me. My truth is my truth. So why should it bother me so much that I don't have a crusade of a multitude of people praising what happened to me. I'm going to do what I have to do to get over what I've been through so that I can continue this journey to keep going up to where I need to be. Because success, success is in the mind. And anything that the mind can think of, we can make it our reality. And we can make this image infinite, uh, limitless. So I am reaching ultimate success by working on my mind. And letting the negativity go. And replacing it with positive image and things that I want to do in my life. And for my kids. Because you know what? We have to break those generational curses. We have to break those cycles that were shown to us so that we can give our children a chance. And as long as we stick with being okay with how things are, our kids will never see that there are anything different than what this, this world can actually give us. One thing I understand is that when I go into my spiritual solitude, I know it's my break and my time away from this world because some people are not strong enough to continue to keep being them. They allow the, the devastations and the distractions of the world to change who they are as a people because this, this is pretty much all we see is the dysfunctional ass shit that goes on in this world. But I lived in this world for so long is that I know that with the eyesight that my God has given me, my higher power has gave me, that I cannot continue to think of this world. I have to think bigger than this because there is a bigger plane than what this world here is offering. And that's, that's, this is nothing but negative energy that was produced over time with us allowing people to be okay with being who they are. So when you allow that negative 
um, per, when you allow that person to have that negative energy and you like, okay, that's them, da da da, that's okay with me. That shit manifests, and it and it and it takes over, because when you do a review for a company, which spread quick. Does the good review spread quick or does the bad review spread quick? Because we barely share when it was good, but people always share when they have a terrible time. That shit spreads. So that's why I don't entertain negative. And I don't allow it to spread anymore in my life. I have to stop it as soon as it starts. Spiritual solitude keeps you grounded. At least try 15 minutes out of your day. Pick up a book. Read. Because they say we don't like to read. Hide. What you want to hide from us? Put it in a book. Pick up a book. Read. Meditate. Sit back. Reflect. Ask yourself questions. Was I courteous? Was I kind? Did I interact? Da da da. Da da da. So forth. Character build yourself. Arm yourself from any evil and negative forces. This is what you do. This is what teaches you to stay out of certain situations. And this is what teaches you to get to the next level. So you guys, that was my moment. I key with the key. That's all I got for you guys today. But once again, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I Key with the Key, Queening in Boston. I got more things to come. I am working on a major piece that's probably going to blow your mind, which is loving people and being loyal to people who hurt you and how that works for you in your daily life, especially ones you can't shake, which is like mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers. Also... Please go like my business page on Instagram and Facebook. I key is I K E Y underscore L L C and then I key L L C on Facebook. And also please go like and follow my pussy podcast page, which I do some late night videos sometime on Facebook where we talk about everything, including the nasty because you know, you people, that's what you like to hear. So once again, Thank you for listening to me, and remember you guys to always rise up.